So I've got 40 grams of oats. I'm going to put in some ginger. I'm going to put in some cinnamon. I'm going to put in a little bit of ground mixed spice. I'm just going to put a little pinch. I'm just going to put in now some water. So you get a second. Put in a little bit of water and then that's just soaking up the oats. Oh, sorry, the other way around. Oats are soaking up the water. I'm just going to get a bit of a spoon just to stir. The oats seem to take up the water very, very quickly. So I tend to just leave that there for a second while I um, just get the uh, frozen fruits out. I'll just pause you there. We've got some frozen raspberries. And I've got some frozen blueberries that I'm just going to put on top of there. Just pause. Okay, so I just popped it in um, some frozen raspberries and some frozen um, blueberries and then leave the oats at the bottom so that they can cook separately and then I'm just going to put the whole lot in the microwave for about two minutes. Okay so it's so two minutes and most of it's done and the porridge has taken up quite a fair bit. Uh, some, some raspberries in there are a bit frozen so at this point I'm going to, but the porridge because I've put water in it has started to, it's already quite soft. So I'm going to give it a little stir, put it in for another minute and then add over some um, almond milk. Okay so I'll just put that in for another minute and a half and just give it a little stir around. Obviously the raspberries have disintegrated. Um, and not, Theoretically, you're supposed to sin this because basically I've cooked the raspberries, but because you know it's from frozen and I am not that efficient to be putting fruit in the next for the next day to defrost it. And even then, to be honest, frozen raspberries when they defrost, they do not keep their um, kind of uh, structure, do they? Because of the nature of the fact that they're defrosted and their skin gets a bit soft so I and I've done this all the way through so I'm not really that fussed uh, mom, mom, lost um, mom, 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 while doing it so mom, mom, I'm gonna carry on. Mom, mom, yes mom. my sweet pea you are you're gonna have to do some more breakfast but it's like a uh, crumb like and fly um, so I'm going to have, I'm just going to put some almond milk over this, and this is a healthy extra B. Oh, I forgot to put some peanut butter on. Oh, well. Healthy extra B. And no sins, because I forgot to put some, I mean, I could stir, should I stir some through? I might stir a little bit through the peanut butter, but on the other hand, I don't know if I can be bothered, I've got no more time left. I'm just going to eat this. See you in a bit. Some, um... Some almond milk with that, and uh, then I've also just chopped a banana through. Hi, yeah, I'm just at work at the moment. I've just put, um, just having my half an hour off after dropping the kids off before we start work, and um, we're at me in the shop, and I just wanted to, just forgot to say that I am um, ten stone six point four today and also it's a lovely sunny day and I am um, my, um, my non-scale victory today is the fact that I'm wearing um, linen trousers I'm going to show you effectively so like, um, sort of like khaki linen and they're like short um, cropped 
crop trousers and um, that's a non-scale victory because um, they're not stretchy so for a very long time I couldn't wear um, clothes that were not stretchy and I haven't, I haven't been able to ever wear linen trousers because my hips and my bottom were always too big um, when I was about 14 I was quite slim but um, kind of I, s I started to get in a big bottom I remember I had a lovely tiger I used to call it a tiger dress Ed, but it was a lovely orange red and yellow dark dress and it was short sli like sort of strappy sleeves strappy straps <laughs> uh, thin straps and it kind of went just down to um, my knee um, but my and it zip up at the back but my bottom started getting too big um, and I kind of burst through the back of it so it didn't fit in and ever since then my bottom's always been too big to do anything really and um, uh, to fit in any clothes but these are size they're a size 14 linen trouser and they feel fine um, so that's a really nice thing to do and it encourages me as well to get my bottom down smaller so that I could you know fit into clothes even easier but to be honest if these are these are linen trousers and they fit fine then they're nice it's nice to be able to wear clothes that aren't stretchy and my legs are not my inner thighs are not rubbing together and I'm not wearing a hole away on the inside of my trousers um yeah I think that's about it so I just thought I'd share that bit because I'd forgotten to say that bit anything else no okay I'll let you know if there's anything else I've forgotten see you in a bit bye I'm going to have some blueberries um, and then we'll have some lunch today, will be pasta and I'll have some olives with that as well so I'm at the moment and also bought some ice creams to go in the freezer and there's a smoothie lolly uh, so I've just got to check the sins on these things and mm, calipo, yeah, these calipos are mini calipos so we'll see what they like for size wise um, so today I've had no sins and one half the extra beet. I have ten olives, that'll be two sins. But I'll uh, show you the video of the I'll do a video of the pasta and it's when we eat it. Okay, so I've got um pasta with veg and uh Linda McCartney rosemary red onion sausage, so that's three, ten olives, um and uh, two sins. So I'm at one healthy extra B and two sins so far today. Uh, so I'm gonna have a um, a Del Monte smoothie, a mango smoothie, it's 100 calories. So we'll go for five sins. So that'll be um, seven sins so far today. Hey, um, so I've had a ice pot and a calipo, a mini calipo, so I think the ice pop was half thin and the um, mini calipos, I don't know how much they are, so I'm going to guesstimate it's about four sins I'd say. Um, so that takes me to um, seven, eleven, eleven and a half sins I think t today so far, one healthy extra B, eleven and a half sins. Um, I've come back now, I'm going to make some tea for the kids, I'm going to make some tea for my partner and for tomorrow's um, like like lunches as it were the batch cook but I'm also quite hungry and um, so I've got to be aware that I don't just shove carbohydrate in me that is on plan so I've got one health, one healthy extra B so I think I'll probably have a sandwich with my wholemeal bread and I might just put a banana in it and I've got a bit of sins so I might have some peanut butter um, might be quite a good idea and then I can always have some free tea later so I think probably what I'll do I'll have banana and a peanut butter sandwich and peanut butter 11 sins I've had so far so I'll have just under 15 grams which will take me to the top end of my sins with, do I really want, I'm not sure I want peanut butter. I might have almonds instead or maybe if I want one slice of peanut butter 
No, one slice of bread, a banana, and um, eight almonds, I think. I'll probably have that instead. I think that would be better. One slice, so that would be two healthy extra bees. No, yeah, two healthy extra... No, yeah, because it would be two healthy extra bees made up of half a... Like one slice of 400 gram loaf and eight almonds. So I'll do that now. So that will be two healthy extra bees and lemon sins. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm just having a coffee. I'm going to take the coffee up with us. They've literally just finished, nearly finished their food. God doesn't want any more of this, so I'm eating this. It's pasta, sweet corn, a little bit of mayonnaise, and I'm going to count a sin because there's not very much on there. And that takes me 12 sins and two health extra beans. See you in a bit. Okay, so I just had one of these. Um, this wasn't intended, but my daughter now has chicken pox, and I think I'm getting overtired now. And um, just a lot going on, so I think it just caught me out on this one. Um, so I just want to quickly let you know that I've had this. This is going to be eight, uh, four sins for a scotch pancake, and it's going to be so that takes me to. Um, just 16 sins, so she's got to be really cautious now just to not have any more sins. So that I think I'll get away with 16, and I just need to focus on free food from now. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay, so my daughter's just fallen asleep. She's very, very unhappy, very itchy, very unhappy. So it took quite a little while to get her to sleep. Um, but it's only half past nine, so it's only half past nine. Straight. Well, let me check for some reason. Anyway, I think it's about half past nine. Right, not scrolling down. Um, so, which is pretty good, really, considering. But she might wake up at any any time, really, because um, obviously when you're not very well, you might she might wake up in the night time. So now I have to think I would eat something. So I'm kind of ready for action. Should she wake up again and need some help? Um, and also, I was sort of thinking about getting a few jobs done. Uh, so, like, um, um, I'm going to put together a um, kind of a few word documents for um, the school that I was I like just going to they're doing a summer fair. So I was going to put a few word documents together for the trail or what are we going to do but I think I'm going to have to be sensible and just take a minute out because otherwise if she does wake up I'll feel like I um, haven't really had any time out and that will be tricky for me so I'm sure I'll get a chance over the weekend or um, probably won't do it tomorrow because I'll be awake but I'll do it one of the other evenings but I think I've got to be sensible now and not put too much pressure on myself because otherwise um, I might bolster it to kind of keep myself going and right now is an opportunity to have a break time. So I just had, I've got a little bit of banana left, I've had a banana, just had a few blueberries um, and I, I don't, I didn't have loads of time to eat in terms of, I, haven't, I don't think I'll put myself a deck of potato or anything. I think that's quite a lot, just in case I don't manage to eat at all. And I might struggle, so I don't really know what I'm going to eat. I'm quite hungry. But, um... Maybe I'm sensible to have There's some chilli left. But I've still got to have that for Friday night and for Saturday. And there's not a lot of that there. Um, so entirely sure what to eat so I think I'm going to just make myself a hot drink for now have a banana and blueberries and just kind of see where the next, next bit takes me um, I'm, I've got no I've got some curry here which I could just eat a bit of so I was going to have some um, tomorrow but there's enough there might be enough there for me just to siphon a bit off it's got sultanas in it so it's usually about about half a sin per portion um, which will be a bit more 
um, again on top 16 and a half sins but maybe it might be the best choice for me because it's right there and all I have to do is just literally heat it up and that will give fill up my belly which will prevent me from um, doing things like making a sandwich got some, some bread here that my partner got um, I've got some wholemeal so if I was to have a sandwich I'd have another one but I've got a little bit left there but I don't really want I've got no more healthy extras I don't you know well I can have more healthy extras if I want to but I think the curry might be the best choice I think there will be enough there for us to have food tomorrow as well with I think if I'm not mistaken I might have done some just got one container to put some across and the other one I haven't washed yet so yeah I think I'm going to just put some across I might cut some celery as well put some celery with it and then microwave it all together ok I'm going to do that then and I'm going to and I'll film it once I've made it see you in a bit I have decided to um, do the trail posters so um, I'm just sitting doing that now on my laptop and I'm going to have this so it's rice, curry, tomatoes and celery that's all heated up and uh, so that put me at uh, 16 and a half cents. Two healthy extra B, 16 and a half cents.